everybody, so I did a how to be a pinup video and it was all about posing. And I got a lot of really good feedback from that and I think that it was really helpful for you gals. Um, and even a lot of gals that aren't trying to be models just said in general it was really helpful just for taking photographs. Um, but the comment that I got above everything else was about facial expressions. So today I am doing a video on how to be a pinup that is all about how to express yourself through your face as a pinup. So um, the best advice that I can give you, number one, is to have fun. When you're going into a shoot, if you're nervous, the first place it's going to show is on your face. Um, you're going to show tension in your face, it's going to be a fake smile, uh, like you don't want to look like that, obviously. Um, so definitely relax, have fun. If you feel like it's like a weird atmosphere, try to put some music on, like just relax yourself and that'll also help you um, posing your body. So the next thing is that a lot of pinup facial expressions are very over the top. Um, just the, the best way to describe it is A-E-I-O-U. So you'd have your A, which is, and then E, which is I. O and U. So basically what you're doing with your mouth is saying those vowels. So obviously you're not going to want to say them out loud. I mean you totally can if you want to, but it might be a little odd if the photographer has no idea what you're doing. So you can either whisper them or just kind of mouth them, but those are kind of um, good basics to go from. And you can see in a lot of my pictures that I use those basics. I feel like pinup especially is all about just being like really over the top. What we call cheesecake pinup is just very like an old Gil El Elfgren painting where they just look like you want yourself to look like a cartoon basically and you want to accentuate the pout in your lips. Especially for you gals like me that have really thin lips, doing the will give you that big round cartoony lip and that's kind of what it's all about. So um, the other thing too is to really be expressive with your eyes and I know that a lot of you gals that watch America's Next Top Model have seen um, Tyra Banks talk about smizing. So basically what smizing is is just having that um, tension in your eyes so it's not quite a squint but it's short for smiling with your eyes. So you really want to make sure that when you smile you're not just doing it with your mouth like this you want to do it with your eyes too. You know, like you want to really put that tension in your eyes, put that intensity in your eyes, even when you're not smiling. Like my go-to is looking in the distance and like being really intense. You can see that as well in a lot of my pictures. Um, just like with your body, it's really important to look in the mirror and see what looks good on your face. Um, smiling a certain way for one girl can work, whereas with another girl it doesn't work. Uh, I actually, when I started, I used a lot of Marilyn Monroe's photographs and a lot of the things that she did with her face and her mouth just don't work with my face. Um, and I just look like I'm like half dead, like, <laughs> it's just terrible. So um, just find somebody's pictures or somebody who has really great facial expressions that you like and literally take the picture in front of the mirror, look at it, try to do the same thing, try to just kind of emulate what you like. But it's really, really important that you have emotion in your eyes and in your face. If you have to think of something, like, if you have to think of, you know, getting romantic with your boyfriend, or if it's a picture where you have to look sad, just thinking about something that, like, really, like, oh, so you can, like, get that emotion out, because the more you fake it, the more you're going to be able to tell. And just as it's important to change up your body poses and change the energy of what you're giving with your body, it's doubly important to do that with your face. Um, like I said in my posing video, you know, there's certain things, like, I smile and I have an overbite, so I have to smile a certain way to hide that. Some people have, you know, one eye that's bigger than another, so you have to figure out with your makeup, I actually have one eyelid that's kind of taller than the other, so with my makeup I have to figure it out, with the angle that I, you know, turn my face I have to figure it out. I actually had a girl leave a comment in one of my last makeup videos that my makeup was uneven because um, I was so straight on and so in the camera that you could actually see the difference in my eyes. So just be really, really aware of your face. If you have sticky outy ears or if you have, you know, an upturned nose, like you just have to know your angles. You know, if your ears stick out a lot, make sure that you're being photographed from the side because if you're straight on and you have pink they're gonna show. Or if your nose is upturned, you wanna make sure to keep your head down because if you turn your head up, you're gonna look even more piggy-nosed. Um, let's see, for me, my eyes are really far apart, so the same thing, and also with the different eyelid sides, I always try to you know, go to one side so that you can't tell that there's 
a big space in between my eyebrows. So it's really just kind of learning what looks flattering on your face. And even if you need to even just have a friend take a picture of your face from straight on, looking down, looking up both sides, and then you can really see what you need to kind of accentuate and what you need to hide. So um, if you have full lips, it always looks good to tilt your head back because it accentuates the fullness of your lips. Um, also be sure that you are below the camera line. So for example, I'm looking up or doing this, but if you're above the camera, you have an instant double chin when you look down. So, um, so you just want to make sure that the camera is always either level with you or above you. If it is below, it should be like from a long distance so that you can hide, you know, sloppy neck skin and the camera's not going straight up your nose. If you're laying down and the photographer is above you, you want to make sure that you don't put your head too far back because then all you're getting is a up the nose shot. So, um, so yeah, I think that's all the advice I can offer you on facial, facial expressions. I hope that that helped. Um, the other thing too that I do a lot, instead of doing just a regular smile, I do an open mouth smile. And that's kind of like so super cheesy, whatever. If it feels cheesy while you're doing pinup modeling, then you're probably doing it right. That's like my number one best item of advice that I can give you. So just study photographs, study books, study old pictures and old movies, see what you like and try to copy it. And if it works for you, awesome, stick with it. And if it doesn't, move on, find something that does. Um, like I said, not everything works for everybody. So I hope that that was helpful. If there are other aspects of pinup modeling that you guys would like to learn, please let me know and I will keep making these videos and help you guys out. I'm really, really excited. And um, if any of you guys are looking to do photo shoots to build your modeling portfolio, me and my gal Nikki Napalm are doing hair and makeup and doing group photo shoots. Um, trying to do them every few months. So please email us at napalmdollfacestyles at hotmail.com and we can try to make uh, make it happen for you. Also, if you guys are scheduling a photo shoot and you want hair and makeup, we also do that and special events as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.